we are standing together. Because we are his will. And we are bringing down the heretics. See now the new future of this game at the current meta. The fists. Imperial fists at the moment are completely nuts, I must say. Uh, you can see here the battle log. This is completely crazy. I yeah, have here some tryouts, but at the moment they destroy everything. So let's see how good they are really with Shabandar. A lot of the aggro here, we have uh, a lot of pain, and this deck performs really well. And we will set not one step back against the heretics. Yeah, so this is a classical turret spam deck and I must say I have really good results at the moment. Doesn't matter who, doesn't matter against who, it just works great. And yeah, the good thing is, uh, like you see already, a lot of front line, we have a lot of defenses, I'm just speeding it up. And of course here I try to spam everything. We do the damage. This gives uh, Bastion 1 to my turret so he cannot remove it so easily. Star Wars Defenders buffing it up. Again they are not so easy to remove and the target of course of the enemy is always to remove all your turrets and this is a key point of this deck uh, this will cost you a lot a lot a lot, lot of resources to get rid of it and usually um, a deck just all the sons i would say has not as much field damage as needed to clean up everything and we must also say the bastion is really nice we can see him 31 health still full Taking. And thanks for to for lungs. We are really good. They are really well balanced. I must say this. They are so good out balanced. I it's, this deck performs with only Imperial Fist cards besides one. And also the same guard uh, barrage is really crazy. This does damage for um, every uh, uh, random structure you have. Like again, he's going for defensive turn, cleaning up the board. Now it's time for Phalanx. Phalanx is a great card, refilling for energy and yeah. Star Wars Defenders again. I prepare for um, swarming the board. Um, my turn. So he has Argus on outside. This is really dangerous threat uh, if I uh, don't act uh, <laughs> now really careful he can easily do 64 damage in one round okay yeah we won it he will use another type lucky me he didn't hit another type here this goes down and that's what I meant with the resources. Now he's out of steam. My hand is full, yeah. And so we're swarming everything. I die and that's it. So at the moment we have a buffed uh, Fulgrim. And uh, yeah, of course, um, I played a lot versus the Fulgrims, of course. And I want to also show this. Great matches, great matches. Deal, deal 2 damage to random enemy repeated for each friendly structure. This is crazy. So, and if you build it really good up, then uh, you will be able to uh, uh, keep the board control and have nearly armor. So, you cannot remove it. Now it's time for Kestros. 
and another turret is coming and then usually I start to pressure really direct Longin he reduces now uh, what I, my board presence but still thanks Star Wars defenders and you see the warlord himself remains unscratched while still doing damage this is what is so insanely strong at the moment All these resources to remove a turret, yeah. Another one, fortified outpost. So again, yeah, we are finished. Sadly, here Casey Lane is not hidden. We are cleaning up this, and now again, he has no chance to remove it. Yeah, he cannot get rid of both of them. So we hope that it hits here. What it does. Fortified outpost again. And now and again, this will there's so much defense satellite you cannot have in deck that you can get rid of this. So he put it he put it up nothing. And now it's my turn. One more troop. The boar hagen the reeling side and sustained very big all all in. So two, 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 two. We see the warlord remains unscratched and it's over. This is completely crazy. And yeah, here example uh, versus Horus Lupacar. Phalanx Waters, also a good game. Not one step back. We will never let Terra fall to the heretics. So, counter attack. A classical spam. funny my headset broke down <laughs> but still yeah uh, like you can see this is really going and yeah, so he's attacking here and um, again now yeah I will keep swarming the board yeah he removes this card well done indeed yeah so now the, the build up, and he said it, um, this is really what has to be done. It must be done at whatever it costs. You need to swarm the board really well, and then it's really difficult to remove everything. And because the turrets remain a threat, yeah, uh, this is so crazy. Castrot, two times on the board. Okay, uh, yeah, I, I wanted to get rid here of this one. Lucky me, it worked. Because this one will be, be more complicated the longer it goes. And so, now. So, this is a great. We have turn 8 and we have Katek uh, out. This was in the older times of this game a hell of a threat. You were like. Wow, uh, what I do, but now with the fists you usually uh, ignore the big troops, just protect yourself behind the great wall and uh, will give selected shots on the enemy. So you need to use all his resources to get rid. You see it, yeah? This is crazy. 
And another quick fire. So he used near everything and still the board is filled and we get another outpost. And again, 45 outpost. Castro. Give him in. So this, now the chances are so high that it hits here. Boom. And that's it. So this is nearly at the moment really difficult to, uh, to uh, defeat. Yeah. Also versus Kareen. Kareen is also really nice. He steals your cards. Um, or now he copies it. Phalanx. And it's time to swarm. Yeah, this uh, this time when you get the hand such uh, like this, I uh, had a little bit uh, uh, more hard beginning. Uh, so he's setting back in. So again, yeah, he, he direct use all of his resources uh, to get rid uh, of all my threats. Pass was. Drilling side. And we have another sentence, this is good because then I can, uh, I can attack Gitwa, which is the problem here, yeah, you remove it, giving here, cleaning here, so he's cleaning the board adventure, Lo Kai Town, nice, command bridge, I won't have starboard defenders, yeah, to keep uh, the board present, this is really important. He has another Ashen Claw in the end. Star Wars Defenders coming in. 27-25. Yeah. So, he removed it. My turn. So yeah, that's what I meant. Stole it, cleaning the board, using ice and steel. Okay, did a good job here for him. So, but this is so crazy, he couldn't clean up the Lord and Terminator. And now it's my turn. And of course, I um, want to have the board presence back if I take the damage and removing the Wither Arm. He didn't poison this one, this is okay for me. So justified gun freed, awesome card, does 3 damage for each structure on the board, or for each friendly unit even. Yeah, unit, yeah, this is even better. 15 to 18, please. So what happens next? Now, this is a close match, yeah. Oh, Barbers done here. A hell of a threat. But we cannot fail. In his name, death. Is that what we want? 45. So now I use the sustain. Um, I hit here and hope that the sustained barrage uh, will finish up uh, K himself, but did not. So now we're getting more close here. He's on five. Cleaning up. So we have still lethal on the board. Using and this one uh, uh, protects him for death. My turn. Not yet. Still. So he did well, he got back the board prisons nearly complete. So, Phalanx. Phalanx is the one thing what keeps you in the game. Yeah. Again, sustained. This was good, I hope for that, I must say. Cleaning up, I wanted to be really on the safe side, I could also have a premium defense. So, removing here. Yeah, you 
got the phalanx warriors. My turn. Haram. Possible to remove at this current state and a lot of firepower on the board. Star Wars Defenders. But he gave up yet. Even though if he couldn't uh, get rid of the turrets, and that's it. So you see the point of this deck. I want to show. Uh, yeah, this is a lot, lot, lot of wind versus Angron even. Cheetah's Rubio, which is also a lot at the moment. I could show up this match really fast. Um, I like Cheetah's Rubio really a lot. I have him myself and I like the play style. You can play really technical. The royalty is copying and always when he kills a troop he gains uh, a seal and the seals are really powerful. Yeah, we see he uh, copied it. I hope he is here. Nice. So let this card also. They are so well balanced. I must say this is one of the well, most well balanced um, factions at the moment. Yeah, for themselves. Maybe also the Emperor's children have so good card of their own. But I must say uh, that one are one of the best. Yeah. This is all about just no. We have the board control, he destroying this precious suit, giving me even more void engagement. But I'm protected by the bastion of the Imperium. Like Tizi even it out. This is already here as this must be purged. So now again the fortified outpost uh, will do the trick. In combination with the substained barrage, this is a crazy damage amount. Hit him, and that's it. So this, this is crazy, yeah. So now, what can he do? Death at turn six. So we see uh, these guys are really strong at the moment with the current meta. The only thing what can stop them is huge field damage and uh, or direct aggro uh, on the warlord. Um, but this is really difficult, and yeah. I love them at the moment, I hope you enjoyed today's video and yeah, then hit the like, subscribe button and see you the next time on the battlefield uh, with another faction of course and uh, let's see where it goes, let's see where it goes with the appearance. So, good night, good fight.